Welcome back to Law & Crime Daily. We're taking a closer look now at one of the key players in the Johnny Depp v. Amber Heard trial, who has recently taken the internet by storm. Law & Crime Network's Sierra Gillespie joins us now to explain who Camila Vasquez is and what her relationship is with client Johnny Depp. The world was introduced to Camille Vasquez during her opening statement for Depp. And the truth will come out in this trial. But Vasquez really made her mark with the cross-examination of Amber Heard. This was a, a multi-day assault that took place over three horrible days. Ms. Heard, the worst thing ever Ms. Heard, to me. we're not talking. Ms. Heard, that's not my question. Entertainment attorney Mitra Ahurian says Vasquez asked the right questions in the right way. I think she really stepped up during cross-examination of Amber Heard, and everything we saw about her was good lawyering. Um, she came in with the right attitude, the right confidence, and really had what we call good control of the witness. And that's key when you're trying to get your narrative across, is making sure that you're controlling the testimony of the witness so that they're not veering off into the version of the story that they want to tell. Law and crime legal analyst Dina Dahl agrees, saying Vasquez was a standout on cross. Camille Vasquez did an excellent job on her cross-examination. I mean, that's a really hard cross-examination to do. You're cross-examining somebody who's alleging domestic violence. It's a very serious allegation. And, but yet she has to ask these really tough questions to be an advocate for her lawyer. That's a very fine line. And I thought th she was perfect. I can't see anybody having done it better. She was firm. She was really great with the, the type of questions, just the style of her questioning. I thought that she it was so effective that I don't know how Amber Heard, quite frankly, could come back from the cross that she did. Experts say the female direction in this case is likely a strategic move. It's probably not a coincidence that they had the two females cross-examine the two females. I think they just don't like that image of a man cross-examining a woman on these very sensitive topics of domestic violence. And what about that noticeable friendship between Depp and Vasquez? We can't ignore the beautiful chemistry her and Johnny have together in the courtroom that's really lovely to watch. But is the relationship something more? I don't think they necessarily have a relationship. I have a lot of clients that I've represented for a really long time that I'm very affectionate towards and I care about. And when they're going through an emotional time, part of what you are, as one of my clients calls me, consigliati. Like, part of it is you're a counselor. Law and Crime Network has reached out to Camille Vasquez for a comment but hasn't heard back yet. She and attorney Benjamin Chu are expected to present closing arguments for Depp this Friday. Reporting for Law and Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie. Thanks, Sierra. Dina, you touched on this a bit in the story, but let's dig a little deeper. How do female attorneys play such a large role in this trial, and why is that so important? You know, it may be this outdated stereotype, but they certainly, you know, lawyers are certainly aware of how they are going to be perceived by the jury. And so they don't want to appear as if they are, you know, attacking a female victim who is you know, alleging something that's really disturbing. And so they will often use a female attorney to do that questioning in a way to maybe try to not make it look like there's this man attacking this woman. Again, whether or not this is this outdated sexist notion, it does happen for strategic reasons. Do not think it is outdated at all. I would never personally, as a 6'4", 200-plus black man, come hard and cross-examine Amber Heard. Definitely I'll let Dina or Terry do it. Terry, uh, I don't think it will happen based on seniority and the fact that she did the opening statement. But if you had the choice, would you put Camille Vasquez in place of doing the closing arguments? Well, absolutely. And I think what they are going to do is split it like they did with the opening. I do think that when Camille did part of that opening, she wasn't as strong. She did get her legs when she did that cross-examination. And actually, I think all three of the attorneys for Depp are excellent. I think Ben Chu has a role there. I think Wayne Dennison, even though he is not as strong, in my opinion, I think all three of them have had their part in making this so far successful. The star, the breakout star, no doubt about it, 
is Camille. And I think she will have a stronger voice when she does this closing. And I think she will help them pull it all together. So if I were them, I would have her do the closing and maybe, you know, at the end of the day, um, be the last voice that anyone can hear at this trial as far as Depp's team is concerned. All right, so Dina likes her, Terry likes her, I likes her, but the major question is, does the jury? We'll find out as we continue. Thank you for joining us here on Law & Crime Daily. We'll see you next time as we discuss justice in America.